you to do. Of course, there's a local Reich Lord in the area who has been hunting down Illikins without end. I want you to go and kill him. He's a cruel man with no loyalties except gold and greed. I'll have some strong troops, so be careful. Sure. Let's fuck him up. Where are you, are you, local lord? Ah, oh, that's, that's him. Lord Reich Lord. Oh, local Reich Lord. Hey, I recognize you. You're the one who's been causing trouble around here lately. <laughs> have you come willingly to die? Yes, I've come willingly to die. In the name of Elika. Fool. You do not know the power I possess. I've been chosen to destroy the Illican race. Race? We're all human. Okay, let's fuck him up. A quick pop question. You could say it's a pop quiz. I'm hilarious. Uh, what should you do with Donovan? I know he has the muskets and probably best suited for training muskets in order, but he's not a member of the Sailboat Party, right? No, he's not. You just grab him and send him to train the Knighthood Order up as soon as, as as often as you can. Practically, he's not in your party when he trains them up, so you good. You good, man. Ah, uh, this is the same map. Literally the same map that was utilized in that other battle. No problem, Zaroth. That's what we did in our playthrough. And it worked out fine. Woohoo, they are big palookas. Come on. That should cause some problems. Uh, I feel like the boys are not in the correct position. Oh boy. That should do it. Oh boy. Gotta be careful not to get killed. There. Man, that guy had a lot of health. 51 damage. No fucks given. Infantry charge. There. I think the Orolo dust cause, causes me some FPS drop. Yeah, sure, Zeroth. You can do that. That's what I did. If you want your custom knighthood order to utilize guns, you gotta start practicing on that gunmanship as fast as possible. So yeah, it's actually recommended that you take his gun. If you don't take his gun, the only other way to acquire it is... Well, the other two ways to acquire it is... One, either kill some Barkley adventurers and hopefully they're gonna drop a musket. Or two... Uh, finish the quest, finish the Snake Cult Fortress quest. Yep. So I lost two men. No. No, why? Why? A Kuyak, 46 armor. Wait, what? Reich King's Gold. Shouldn't I have given this away? The Flying Fuck. I think maybe that's a bug. Maybe it, it should have disappeared from my inventory and or something, I don't know. 30. Intellect. Engineering 10. Baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, indeed. It does work like a charm, my man. You kept it for two months in your inventory? Nothing happened, right? I guess we're just gonna... Sell it, I guess. Yay! Quest accepted. Ah, so sorry. Quest accomplished. Okay. Maybe it was supposed to disappear after you finished the quest. Meh. Uh, yes, Akaya. We are aware. I simply said Barkley Adventurers in general, as in Barkley Parties. Practically, they level up into crossbowmen, and then the crossbow level up is the arquebusier. Hello, Noah. Ah, uh, Noda. I did it. Relations have increased to 12. We received 2.5k orums, 2k experience. Great work. We're getting closer. I feel it. At this rate, we're going... 
At the rate we're going, we shall be free soon, as promised your reward. Okay. What's the next step? Hello again. What of your deeds are spreading amongst our people? Are there any harder tasks for me to complete? A harder task, eh? There isn't anything right now, but maybe you can pass the time by defeating a certain dragon priest for me. He's near Waldenburg. What say you? Sure, let's fuck him up. As I recall, dragon priests are incredibly tough to beat. No? Where is he? Where is he? Try to get the map with the river and put the infantry there? We'll see, man. We gotta find him first. Oh, there's the dragon priest. 95 dragon priester. The fuck's a dragon priester? Uh, is there a way to check their stats? Up. Uh it's okay, Spectre. I'll see you tomorrow, my man. Not in game, I see. Go to notes. Right. Also, hi, purple prick. Reference material. Oh, no, no, no. Reports. Reference material. Minor faction troop trees. Doing good, man. Doing good. Glad to be back. Glad to be back in doing the good stuff that I do so well. Well, that I try to do so well. Volhere Ilica robberies. No, no, no. I think I think it's the other section in the main. Uh huh. Over here. Reich the Strachen. I think we'll find the dragon priests here. Hmm? Because the Reich des Drachen is a German-inspired uh, faction, Black Goblin, that's why. Practically the same reason why they kept them in Floris. Hmm? I try to, to not slaughter or butcher the pronunciations of any name, you know, try to respect as much as possible. Spotting Nestor Volumer, warning, this may prove to be the first real challenge for the player. The Dragon Priest contingency consists of approximately 92 cavalrymen. Most of the Dragon Priests are either equipped with a two-handed sword, a lance, and a shield or a mace. This makes them very versatile and rather difficult to defeat. Paired with their heavy armor, the player should take necessary precautions and establish a strong foothold. Okay? Oh, thank you, Zarath. Let's see. Dragoneer. Drachenreiter, Kaiserlich Dragoneer, Wyvern Dragoneer, Drachenmeister, Drachenpriester. What do we got here? Um, four Athletics, Shield 7, Riding 8, Long Dark Blade. Oh, wow, they're actually pretty tough. Dragon Priest Armor 58. Only seeing their level, but I kind of... Oh, level 48. I see. Yeah, exactly. Exactly as Siggy said, they do keep the names from there. But Floros is the best example. Vajir have, uh, I think, either Russian or U Ukrainian names. Um, Rodarks have Italian names, and so on and so forth. Um... Sorry, Spectre. Well, I, you know, I if I don't know the pronunciation of a word, I ask you guys and I try to pronounce it in different ways and, you know, ask you, okay, was the first pronunciation correct? Was the second? I usually tend to find a viewer who is from uh, that area or that territory or knows the language. And thus I kind of improve. So, Dragon Priests. Estimated party strength, 2,375. 
Ah, oh, we Gucci. We Gucci. We good. This is going to be destructively okay. Hmm? Uh, Drachen Scharfschutz. Was that correct? Oh, I was close. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, off cuts. Just go for off and I don't know. Oh, um, there's an E at the end. So, Drachen Scharfschütze, like that. Well, <laughs> uh, thank you. So, Drachen Scharfschütze, got it. Also, it kind of helps that I, I'm Romanian, so having Romanian as a language. Romanian, I don't know if you guys know, but it has a lot of influences, a lot of influences. It has its uh, base, um, base in uh, Latin and in, um, what's the other language, Dacian, plus a lot of Slavic influences, so it's kind of easy for Romanians to learn a lot of languages. Austrian dialect. Oh, I see. Infantry charge. Cavalry shoot to kill. And I think this is going to go well. Hopefully. Uh, archers forward a bit. Hello, Belg. Welcome back to the end, dude. Actually, no. Welcome to the end. I haven't seen you here before. My badsies. My badsies. Welcome. Oh my good god. Cavalry charge. Get in there as well. But... Seems we're going good. Ah. Get for you, Spectre. Okay, good. Like goblin, it's there's no problem. And battle's over. That actually went. Oh, we just lost five people. That went better than expected. Cool. Yeah, he's from Britain, Belg. Hotch Dutch. Hawk Dutch. Alright. The next quest is a free XP, only infantry. Oh, that sounds easy. On the same page with Zerath, I'm not a big fan of football either. <sighs> I'll let you get a do. Ooh, that's a lot of deliciously high tier gear that I'm going to be getting a lot of money from for yay <sighs> pardon Alan Dell, congratulations I think Alan Dell is my medic boy yeah he's my medic boy he knows what's up uh, what am I doing with you Alan Dell I might just make you into a beefy boy to a beefed up monster. I'm from Romania, Belg. Uh, Hochdeutsch is the written standard German, if I'm wondering. Oh, okay, thank you, Rune. Um. 
No, I don't think so. I don't think so, my man. I guess we could test it out. But I don't think you can level up uh, intellect-based stuff past level 10. Maybe trainer? I don't know. Can somebody explain if trainer can be leveled up past level 10? Uh, I know that leadership can get leveled up past level 10 up to 15. Power strike, power throw, power draw up to 15. I'm not sure about iron flush, though. Might be up to 15 as well. But don't quote me on that. I, I'm not sure. So Iron Flesh too, mm -hmm. but I'm not aware of any intellect uh, intellect stat that can be leveled up further than ten. Um, I think leveling up surgery further than ten would make it simply too OB. I see. So top tier giants have fourteen. Well, that confirms that they can go beyond that. Uh, well, yeah, it's well, bug. I don't really have an accent. I don't really have an accent in English. Maybe an American accent. I guess you could call it an American accent. But you can't uh, really pinpoint me down to a specific zone or a specific area. Hmm? Wouldn't you say that it's an American accent, Spectre? Anyway, um, let's... I guess let's go into strength with him. Put that extra point in wound treatment, and then we're going to focus on his trainer. No? Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess if I could talk more like this, maybe that's a little bit more American. I can't explain how I'm doing it, but I think that makes it a little bit more American. I don't know. You tell me. Your boy, that next client to be served is a bit alcoholic and bad tempered. He has a lot of divine ethelings in his host. Okay. That sounds fun. Barampor, did you level up? Yes, you did. Uh, intellect. Intellect with you, and we're gonna focus on trainer a bit. I stopped. Inspector, I stopped. What the fuck? That's why you you were having a hard time. Somehow you suspect you're not a native speaker, though native fluency for sure. But I would not even know how a Romanian accent would sound like. Oh man, uh, it's it's kind of complicated. Sadly, I don't know how to mimic the Romanian accent anymore. I'm sorry. I don't know. Let me let me try. Let me try, I guess. Um, I'm Mersakasa. I went home. Yeah, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. We don't talk that way in America. Well, whatever. I don't know. Can't make certain accents viable. I guess so, Belg. But yeah, I've lost my Romanian accent a long time ago. Long, long time ago. You're only doing us a big favor. The next task may not be so easy, however. There's a, there's the reward for now. 7.5k, 5k RM, uh, sorry, 5k of experience and another 10 relations. That's cool. That's cool. Cool. And Noda. Well, I'm glad they do it. What's the task? There's a man by the name of Gunnar, or Gunner. He has been dubbed the Illican Killer and is a mercenary soldier from Nisania. Nisania? He has a special method of defeating our men, and none of us have managed to fight him and win. So you want me to defeat him? Indeed. He has ways to kill Illicans, but not normal men. Scouts report that he's currently near this town. I have every faith in you that he will succeed. Okay. In the inn, we speak of the kings. Okay. 
Oh, I, I look European? Okay. Uh, some, some people told me that I look Turkish. Yeah, I'm, I've been getting a lot of uh, weird locations and stuff like that. I look Romanian. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's a thing. Um, also, some people told me that I look uh, Spanish or Italian. Speaking the kings is an English expression for English. Oh, I see. Oh, it's perfectly fine. I simply wasn't aware of that expression. I, I thank you, Rortem. Thank you. I don't look like a vamp. Okay, maybe because of the bags under my eyes, I kind of do give a vampire vibe. That is correct. And I do live in, do, do live in Transylvania. Uh, Babenberg, really. So the northwest. Gunnar's army is a force to be reckoned with. Um, he fields around 225 troops, consistent solely of strong Valahir foot infantry and archers. His troop composition is the following. Ah, uh, we're gonna defeat them. No, I have not, Spectre. I'm not seen the uh, show or the TV show Vikings. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do give that vibe. I, well, besides Turkish, I also give a very Hispanic vibe. Probably because of the beer or something, I don't know. Uh, it seems he did not spawn near Bebenberg this time around. Oh, I think I see him. Gunnar, to the northeast. To the north, to the east, actually. 197, that's not 225. I guess it's around 200. You have quite a bounty on your head from the Reich. I will enjoy crushing your skull for Warden and Vanir. I did. I did know, Spectre. Okay, let's try to talk with a British accent just to annoy the fuck out of Spectre. Let's try to go for that. I'm probably going to be butchering it, but it should be okay. No, it's too late, Spectre. You've asked for for this, you fluffy little bunny, you. Uh, maybe a little bit, but there, but the hair would be. I grew up with Turks. Also, more, more on that Hispanic thing uh, due to his hair and beard. Yeah, a little bit more on the Hispanic side, I guess. If I actually shave this side off, I look French. Well, whatever. Let's get on with the death of the enemy. So we're going to utilize the Cavs Archers Inf tactic here. We'll see how that's going to work. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to be shaving in that in that way. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, the quest that will take the longest before you can even start it is the quest Defeating the Dreaded One. I need 10k Renown for that. Okay. Jesus. No, I'm not. I'm not, Spectre. I love you too, Akaya. I got his horse and sword. Okay, someday. Rev lost the only accent he's supposed to have, so no wonder. Oh, the Romanian one? Oh, no. The Romanian accent is horrible, dude. The Romanian English accent is horrible. It's atrocious. It makes my ears bleed. Okay, you love my armor, too. Okay. Holy sweet Jesus, did we go through a lot of them. Delivered 10 damage? Really? 72 damage. Okay, that's better. 69 damage. I don't think I've ever heard the accent. From now on, I'll think that, ev I'll think that every Romanian speaks English like you. Oh, right, totally. Uh, 
You lost your accent when you were a kid, switched to an American a little, but it was easily changed. You'll usually adopt the accent of um, the people you're working with or uh, the people you mingle with. It, it always... it always happens. But usually people tend to agree that I have some sort of weird American accent. I don't think I'm wearing a... Nope. I have all the leaf bombs in my man. And it's over. Yeah, probably the same too. Zerath. Probably have the same thing. No screen accents is interesting. We tend to pronounce things often soft and sometimes even sloppy. Okay. Would a Romanian accent be similar to a Bulgarian or not at all? I know a few Bulgarians in direction that's kind of adorable. Uh, no. No, it's not like a Bulgarian accent. Bug. I guess it's, it's more along the lines of a English speaker who has a Spanish or Italian accent. Something like that. Uh, yes, I do, Purple Brick. I have the Kingslayer Sword, but right now I'm trying out uh, the sword that I received as a shipped executor. Damn. Well, that's not a unique. That's not a unique axe. Um. Anyway, what was I talking about? Right. Uh, the Kingslayer. Um, I'm trying the Balanced Short Ancient Broadsword that I received from uh, the Venator questline. That's what I was talking about. Okay. We'll take some of this stuff and sell it. No, don't gather the goddamn stuff. I He gathered the goddamn stuff. That's racist, Smector. Dan sage ma leisefur dich, because und pony ochne of, of die betonung zu achten, da ist nicht viel unterschild. Je, I don't know. Was that was that okay? Was that a decent pronunciation? I guess. It's a mix between Welsh and Indian accent, as a Brit friend of mine told us after he spent an evening in our company at a barbecue. Oh, okay. I should say, crack your finger. Crack my finger. Not half bad, thank you. And done. Backwards. What? I'm sorry. Eregnif im kark? Spectre? No idea how to say it backwards. Oh, right. Right, now I understand. No, I don't want you to go in that area with your finger, Spectre. Yeah, well, I took it literally when I said say it backwards. Letter by letter, not word by word. Oh, not yet, not yet. Mm -mm -mm, not yet, we gotta sell this shit. Marketplace goods. Sell everything after. Good. It's okay, Schmidt. Welcome back to the end, dude. Well, I guess my dumbassness saved me at that moment. So, next quest. Noda. I have. Receive 7.5k Orems. We start relations to 72, we receive 5k. You always knew I could do it? Fuck. Fuck you didn't. We have come to it at last, your final task. What's the task? 
It's been many years since our conquerors have banished us and abused us. We're now fighting back because of you, our hero. It's now time for you to complete your ultimate task. I want you to conquer this city, Voldenberg. So the time has come. Indeed, you are our champion now. Fight well and win. Okay, thank you. How's Voldemort looking? 1.1k! Sweet effin' Jesus. So, uh, can I just siege it directly or something? Nope, I can't. I practically need to get in uh, trouble. Get in trouble with uh, the Reichsstrachen, and then I'm gonna be able to attack Voldemort. Well, what you gonna do? Messenger rides up to you and tells you that a demonic general by the name of Yaloch has risen his army and is now roaming the land. Does Yaloch give me Skyfall? Or is there another unique spawn that gives me the gives me the reward? Okay, let's put Kingslayer back in. Back in the action. Let's find the rapier quest going along. Thirty-five percent lime. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Everybody's too drunk in the tavern. Okay, Akaya. Still, confu still a little bit confused, but sure. The Falky leader. Oh, it's uh, the Falky unique spawn. Got it. I wonder what the demonic unique spawn will give me. Curious to check. Well, we're definitely not going to take Voldenberg yet. There's no way for me to take it with the number of troops that I have. Well, I guess if we, you know, retreat several times. Herzog Oscar. I guess we could attack him. Let's save here, though. A little bit of language here and there. I have no idea about other quests that I could go for. Let's go to Merdenhall. Guess we could open and fight against the the Reich now. Mm, but I don't want to get him into trouble with Elentor. Not yet, at least. Okay, Ransom Broker. Um, Tamaris is still in Grozny. Holy shit. Will she ever go away from there? Let's go to Grozny. Get our hands on Tamaris. Um, because she's the last companion that we need to get. A Lord Defects, General Mleza, has renounced his allegiance to the Reich and joined the Zahn. Okay. As you travel, you meet a Knight of the Wolf. His pack has abandoned him and he wishes to join your pack. No space and no need for more troops. Hmm, I don't think that would be a good idea. I might just focus on uh, creating my own, my own faction now. Makavian crossbowmen. Tempted to attack. Tempted to attack them. Lord Falcus of Maca... Wait, Demon... Who? Uh, Demon Marshal Yaloch was spotted near Hawksbend. Hawksbend being where? Rep no, no, not reports. Notes, location, age. Hawksbend. There. Ah, too far. Too far away. Can't go there. You must move on to Grozny. Let's move on there and defeat. Well, actually not defeat. Just find our last companion. Messenger rides me and tells me a nomadic queen has come and joined blah blah. Somebody was indicated for treason. Some soldiers have leveled up and we still eat. Um, I thought it stated that some soldiers leveled up. Maybe I didn't notice. I doubt these guys will attack me. They, they might attack me. They're not gonna have a best best of time. Maybe. Might have been a, a bit of a Scottish accent. Zelda the Chosen One's the unique spawn with Skyfall if you want to look for it. I don't think he's alive. Nibor Hood has appeared. And Marshal Yalak. Uh, the Fiend of Demon Worshippers was defeated. 
Well, that's lame. Very lame. Kind of expected to fight against somebody. I don't know, it might have been a, a Scottish accent or an Irish accent. I sadly can't seem to notice the difference between them. Tamaris. Okay. Let's go. Well, Scottish for sure. I don't know, dude. And the final companion has joined our army. What do you got on yourself, Tamaris? Show me what you got. Level 56. Oh, God. Fuck yeah. She's a tough little cookie. She's tough as nails. What's yet equipment? 48. 61. 28. Okay, we're good. What's up, Spectre? If you hear uh, Scottish versus Irish in direct comparison, you'll hear a difference immediately. Oh, okay. I'll keep it in mind. She seems to be tough. Um, tell her to go gather right your wall. Yep. And that's it. I noticed, Spectre. You like to do that so, um, you know, to get attention. Which is kind of a bad way to get attention because you can just simply ask to talk about something. Right. Anyway. Um, is there anybody else inside Grosny's Tavern that might be... A man of interest or something? I'm gonna check upstairs. Yep, stairs. Nobody there. Let's check at Grund. Or is it Grund? No idea. Valahir well, certainly have a Nordic influence. Well, Scandinavian influence, I guess, if you want to call it like that. Lucky the giant, the crazy man of craziness of Irago. And what do you got over here? Ransom broker. And a wandering minstrel. Nothing. Nothing. Let's check in Reich Reichberg. Um, by the way, does Reichberg mean um, Imperial City? Or something like that? Or Imperial Town. Berg might be town instead of city. Oh, Berg is castle? Oh, so the Imperial Castle? Uh, yes, yes, I do plan on uh, creating a guide for it, Belg. As soon as we finish it. Okay, so Imperial Castle. Got it. Neighborhood was spotted near Velen. I kind of like to fight him. He will. He would. If I. If, I think if I defeat Nibor Hood, um, I receive uh, 10k. 10k for defeating him. So yeah, yeah, I like to get my hands on that dude. And murder. Also, I think Nibor Hood is the easiest uh, unique spawn in the game. I had a stint to seeing English, especially after a couple of pints. Their natural way of being, if you ask me. Scots are more uh, guttural as they pick up a fight with you each each time they open their mouth. Okay. I guess it's the Alaric von Gruhaha of Perizno. Uh The next mods that I'm going to be playing uh, are the Eagle. Well, actually, no. In the order of that I'm going to be playing them in uh, War Sword Conquest, the Eagle... And we'll see afterwards. We'll see afterwards. Probably, uh, maybe I'll try Medieval Conquest. Because uh, Spectre told me some good stuff about it and it kind of made me curious to see how good it is. I think we already checked the location, right? But my mind was somewhere else. Yeah, we checked the location. Hmm, so... Do we go and convince Princess Lily to 
Holy shit, that's a lot of snow crawlers. No, let's go talk with the queen to wage war on the Reich, the Zrachen. Let's see if we have any, uh, any uh, outstanding issues with them. No outstanding issues with Elentor. So yeah, maybe I can convince the queen to go to war with the Reich. Take Voldenberg, complete the quest. And then uh, we're going to convince Princess Lily to um, rebel against her mother. Go through that rebellious phase, you know? Right. Can we ditch the eagle and do medieval conquest? Why? Is the eagle really not that worth playing? No, no mercenary cav. Traveler, ransom broker. Nothing really jumping, yelling that it's good. But it sounded kind of cool. The first time around. Uh, by the way, do tournaments rewards give me honor? Oh, no, 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 no. Fight. I guess we're going to find out soon enough. Two teams, something, fighters each. Sorry, was kind of, kind of focusing there. We done? We don't. Oh, okay, boss man. Have a good night's sleep, my man. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It's fun for the first few hours, but then it gets repetitive. Practically utilize the same tactic, a firing line, and you kill everything. Around that line repetitive. You like the eagle, it's something different because of the time, guns, and cannons. But it gets repetitive because of the line, the lines, guns, and cannons. I see. Claradia 1417? I think I heard of Claradia 1417. We'll see. We'll see. I might even look through the most popular mods list on uh, ModDB and Nexus and decide from there what's going to be the next mod we're going to be tackling. I might get my ass kicked here. What the flying fuck is going on? Come on! Oh, what? Holy shit, that guy's fast. Actually, it's a girl. Sylvethiel. Well, you know what you're gonna do. Reformist is playing called Radio 1417 right now. Oh, it's a trend it's a trend now on YouTube. I don't usually go for trends. You cannot create a fashion of your own and stuff. Hmm. Well, I don't really mind. I can help a favorite faction conquer the world, so that's cool. Or, or I guess we could do a Clayman quest. Well, we'll see, my man. I usually follow a schedule, you know, Gabby. If I tackle a um, mod, I keep on tackling it until it's done. Or until a new patch arrives for it, and then I would simply restart. Somebody has been addicted for treason. That's okay. You can only enlist in the army, lead your own company, and climb up the ranks. But not like enlisting like another mods. Oh, okay. Uh, in uh, the Eagle, I'd better do England. I'll think about it, Spectre. I thought the eagle was was taking place in Colorado, Colorado. Did I understand wrong? 
black gothic armor. Eh. Eh. There's so many good mods for Mountain Blade out there, it's hard to choose. Correct. That's why I take them one at a time in Black Goblin. I did a guide for Floris. I did a guide for A World of Ice and Fire, for Prophecy of Bendor, for uh, Viking Conquest. Um, what other? Oh, and for Nova Ethos. And now I'm working on Perizno. It play takes place in Napoleonic times. It's Napoleonic Wars in single player in Europe. Oh, okay. I thought it was Claudia. Shitty. Got it. Got it. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that appealing anymore. <laughs> it's not that appealing. But according to Gabi, uh, Colradia fourteen seventeen is practically Napoleonic Wars in Colradia, so that might be some something more my thing. Hmm. I'll think about it. The naval battles are cool. And the Valahir have declared war on the Reich. Ooh, wow. A war with the Reich might be viable now that the Valahir have joined the, the fray, have joined the mix. Let's ask where the... Let's ask where the queen is. Well, I understand that, Zerath, but I assume in 1417 there should be some... Um, there should be some um, gunpowder units. M maybe early gunpowder units or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Smith. Smithson. Shit happens. Uh, where's Queen Arwen? Nettlemist at the moment. Nettlemist. Is that a village? L M N. There. It is a village. All the way over there. I see. I'm gonna do a quick stop at Elsinore. Late 15. Late 1500s. I see. Well, does, then does that mean that uh, 1417 doesn't have any gun units? Well, Calradia 1417. Gildarian Duke, Baron Boar leveled up. Becoming a big boy. He is becoming the boy. And keep going. Keep trucking. To Elsinore first. So simply a rework of vanilla. Uh, guys, I, I'm i not talking about the real world. I'm talking about if in this mod there are any gun units. That's all. <laughs> well, I guess you guys are talking about e talking with each other about when the gun units appeared. So no, no gun units. Okay. So simply a vanilla remake. I guess it might be an interesting think to check out. Ah, uh, but first things first, we are going to be going for War Sword of Conquest after we finish either Pandora or Perizno. So that's a thing. And, um, we'll decide what we're going to be going for. Mm -hmm. So all classic vanilla factions with some weird work. Good. Entertainment Guildsman, uh, Book Merchant. Mm, what does a Book Merchant offer me? Show me what you got. Uh, Dere Militari, The Life of Alexinius the Great. That's going to give me the leadership, if I recall correctly. Might be a good book to read. Well, after the Anthology of the Dueler. Gotta start sieging places so I can read that book. Hi, Lily. Where's the Queen? Where's your mother? At Fornermont. Okay. Kind of expected her to be there, so... We good. 
War Sword was a lot of fun because of the magic in the Warhammer universe. Uh, yeah, we played it on one of the Variety Stream days. We had quite a little bit of fun. That's funny. I guess. I guess that's one way of putting it. Although it's going to be a tough time to choose. Well, most likely we're going to be going with some evil faction. Um, I'm kind of fed up with going for some goody two-shoes good faction, so... Most likely we're going to go with an evil faction. We'll see who we're going to be joining. Guess we could be the Orc Boys. Conquer the world with the Orcs. Tainted Paths is huge. We'll see. So let's check the tavern. Ransom Broker. Silithorn. Hey, Melanie Camelli. Do you have any quests for me? Some time ago, a mysterious stranger came to me. He gave the guild a dangerous assignment which I was foolish enough to accept. Back then, I did not quite realize how difficult it would be to fulfill it. So now I'm asking for your help. Are you up to the challenge? Sure. It's about getting rid of someone. A woman. How's this difficult? You just hire a couple of Veraldian assassins. They already made five attempts but haven't been successful. The name of the woman is... Uh, Joan Zwiebel. Well, I suppose the assassins just couldn't stand against her beauty. Okay. Okay. It's not about that. Joan Zibel, Zwiebel, I guess, was leading a militia during the War of the Woods. Now she's very popular. A lot of people support her, even more than they would support their own king. Really? Yeah, and I'm actually inclined to believe that this mysterious stranger was the Tolranian spymaster. Oh boy. This is all about politics, and now I either have to cooperate and kill that woman or die because of knowing too much. Yes, I suppose these are your choices. Good luck. So this is all about politics. Okay. He said the exact same thing. Follow the scout. He will lead you to your target. You're from Transylvania. You should lead a vampire faction to the glory and fresh blood. The vampire faction? I guess. Uh, Zwiebel means onion in German. Guess she's a relative of Sir Dava Seaworth. She might be, man. She might be. So where are the scouts? Mercenary scout. Traveling to the army. Alright, take me to her. I guess she is the onion lady. Hmm, gotta be a vamp. I seem to recall that the vamps have a focus on infantry, or, or mounted, mounted uh, units, I guess? We'll see. Oh wow, that mercenary scout is really going, really fucking going. The disloyal nobles of Hakon Empire gathered an army of rebels. They joined Aris Hakon and began to ravage the outskirts of Bolgan. Is that a unique Hakon spawn? Weird. What should you play? I don't know. What what are you playing besides uh, XCOM right now? You said you were playing XCOM and some other games. What are the other games? And that's Joan. Joan's army. Alright, let's fight. John, John, actually, Yana Dark. Well, maybe it's a reference to that. Nah, I don't think so. John Onion, there's no other choice for me but to kill you. There's always a choice. Attack the party of the Tolranian spy master. Attack the party of John. Uh, attack the party of the Tolranian spy master. Defeat the party of the Tolranian spy master. Where's that? Is it next to her, or...? Where do I find the Spymaster? Not far from here. I've been chasing him before you appeared. Oh, okay. You're just patrolling. Oh, there's the Tolanian Spymaster. Let's deal with you, brother. Hi. 
I will kick your ass. Oh my good god, you look like a monkey. I will fight. For my right to party. Oh wow, time flies when we're having fun. Well, well when I'm having fun at least. Um, it's almost seven hours. We still have one hour of stream left. Oh, yes. You're playing Armor 3 and War Thunder? Well, it depends what you want to go for. Infantry charge. 55 damage. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, so, Raval, I earlier you mentioned your intent to run some D&D. How goes your learning process? I think it's one of those things where playing is the best way to learn. You'll make mistakes, but even veterans with decades under their belt do. Uh, what's my learning process? Practically watching a lot of D&D on YouTube. And I'm going to be reading the rule books. And I'm most likely going to be uh, managing some um, some D&D uh, &D sessions with my wife and some of my friends. That's the plan. Of me learning uh, to become a DM. But it's most likely going to happen after... I'm going to start learning D&D &D seriously after my birthday. So, practically after March. I'm sorry to hear that. That's uh, worth another still a grind. Well, what are you gonna do? Holy sh! Oh yeah, we're we're shooting at uh, archers. They're gonna go down super quick. Realistic is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, Zander, that's the plan. That's the plan. I still haven't figured out how to, you know, um introduce uh, D, D on stream or if people want to see D, D on stream or something like that but I know I have an imagination I have a few campaigns in mind to to run so that'd be cool and the reason I'm planning on you know trying some DD or stuff like that is because uh, people have been telling me that they would like to hear me narrate their D&D stories. Uh, no. No, I've not tried a roll 20. I don't think I know what that is. Sure, Spectre. Okay, hey, take those, leave the items. Let's talk with Joan. And tell her that we've dealt with the enemy. I defeated a Tauranian spy master. We received 1k experience. Follow me, stay here, patrol around this area. Really, follow me. So practically she now is my personal mercenary squad or something like that that's cool 